Hello and welcome to you now let's play me Nemo 6 of Kim Coliseum. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can get it on Patreon for I think three dollars. So on the last let's play, we asked the fairy about what's the deal with the heck with the glowing monster and the fairy was like, yeah, we're told that that's Behemoth. So we're like, Behemoth, where have we heard that name before? And Lambert, and then remember that Lambert asked us if the word Behemoth meant anything to us, which it did. So we went to, what's his name, Gilbert, and asked him if he knew what, uh, if he knew anything about Lambert, you know, where he might be. And Gilbert's like, oh, yeah, he actually gave me this message to give to you if you asked about where he'd be at. And then he gave us that message and some eye drops that allowed us to find him. Or am helping us find him. So now we're just going through the forest. Uh, sure. Damn it. I was like, I'm gonna use that. But then it's like, I can't see the effect. It's like, how does that you guys get, seem, seemingly get all the things? I hate how the A is like, you should do this, and it's like, but it cancels the effect. Baka. Okay, we should be able to get with that last one. Is there any health we can get? There is this. Oh, need a burrito. We don't need that anymore. And three things. So many moth wings. I just did that one since we already... Since we bumped into it, but we didn't actually do anything with it. Ooh, woo. Man, I've been doing the thing that I always hate the AI for doing. I would just be so heckin' hecked. I just want that. Even though that gives them an extra move there. And that extra move. Okay, stop it. I said stop it. There's just a plethora of good things there. It would do some oh, there was that there. Okay, come on. Really? Really? You're a big old butt, like that thing from the last episode. Oh heck. <laughs> Why is there a ghost in the woods? Oh, so where did all these chairs and stuff come from? <coughs> Yeah. It's like... So then her throat was like, Hey, you are just full of stuff. And it's like, great. <clears throat> Headshot. K. 
Okay, try some of this. Well, at least it can't really do too much with all these effects going on it. How about some of this? <clears throat> there really isn't much I can do when I when there's only one thing that attacks it. Yeah. Heck. Maybe we should retreat from this one because we don't have what's his name. Oh, we already did a move, so we can't retreat just yet. Okay, time to retreat. No deal with that Venus later. <sighs> Let's keep on looking around. Ooh, nice. That's a thing and a half. Hmm. I saw something there, but I was like, uh, is that usable? Okay, there's something there, I guess. Hmm. Hey, you know. Do that so we get the loot. And then... We might want to leave so that we can get that armor upgrade and then come back. Aina. That's it. Fast travel. Stupid ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Well, maybe that's a lie. Time? Nine minutes. Okay. That's so cabin. This must be his cabin. He's not home? Sheesh. Oh, right. Duncan said he saw the owner leave. 
But this was a while ago already. Maybe he'll come back soon? Well, I'll just wait from here. Ula sighs and lays on the wooden wall with his arms crossed. That Fox Lambert. What is he doing living out here anyway? It's like he doesn't want anyone to know about him or something. Exclamation mark, question mark. As his eyelids start to feel heavier and heavier, his knees feel weak as his mind starts to drift off. What is this? Why do I feel so horny, sleepy? Darkness creeps into his eyes as he collapses on the floor. Hmm? Hmm? <coughs> hmm? Sniff, sniff. I can feel someone's breathing? Hmm. Seriously, dude, I'm gonna have to censor that. Sniff, sniff. Huh? Oh! What the fuck? Oh, you're awake. What the fuck are you doing? Relax, I'm just checking if you've applied any threatening chemicals to your body. Anyway, good to see you again, Soldier of Winterlight. And I suppose you're happy to see me as well. Ulga follows the chemi chemist's downward gaze, only to see that he... He's in his underwear, a full erection. What the hell? Please accept my apology for not warning you about the sleeping gas trap. It's part of my security system. Oh, really? Is sniffing my cock part of the security system, too? How rude. I just had to make sure that you come here without anyone tracking you. If it helps, I'll say they do smell very nice, especially around your neck full of testosterone. It's soothing to me. It doesn't help you, creep. Touch me again without asking me and I swear I'll kill you. Ongo says, adjusting his loin cloth, trying to hide his hard cock from Lambert. By the way, the damn spot that smells like semen on your body, on your underwear, is already there before, he's, before I searched your body. W what? I've been holding it in? Did you know it's healthy to masturbate when you need to? So daily? Sh shut the fuck up. That dungan. Him and his damn huge ass. In any case, I don't mind if you want to continue the conversation while uselessly trying to hide your huge erection in that tiny lung cloth. But if you really can't focus without your clothes on, down the table over there. A clothes! You're very welcome. <clears throat> well, putting on clothes makes his erection go away. He's a voyeurist. <clears throat> Phew, now that's better. So, read my letter and came all the way here to see me? That can only mean one thing. Yes. You want to have sex with me? I mean, I want you to talk about you. I want to talk to you about the, the behemoth. The monster full of mysteries. Um, yes, about that. Oh, how I long for the day when I would, when I would have someone to talk to about them. I used to study that about them all the time, but after what happened, I've been all alone. It's suffocating. What happened? Wait, you study? And here I am in Cornelia, joining the tournament in hopes they could win the money to find fund my study. Can you imagine a fragile and weak alchemist like me? Now I have no I have to fight for money like a mercenary. Oh, this is confidential though. Sorry. I even had to go as far as hiding my identity to join the tournament. Make sure to keep this between us. My head hurts. A headache, you say? Would you like to try my homemade medicine? Just slow down, will you? I know you're excited, but... Wait a second. You said you're in the tournament. The Cornelian tournament? The one and the only. It's a, It's why I was away, actually. I had a match earlier today. It was lucky that my opponent seems to be especially susceptible to my poison. 
But I wonder how long Mr. Eagle lasts. I guess this is a, hey, when you fight him, do something against poison stuff. Poison. His opponents? And he got in touch with me, knowing I'm a, I'm a gladiator? Speaking of which... You. Did. Apply the eye drops, didn't you? Or did you not? Don't tell me. You poison the eye drops? <laughs> of course. I did nothing of the sort. What? Look at your face. That expression is priceless. You really have no idea how special you are. Explain yourself. Now. My apology. It was a bad joke. I'll admit. You see, you have made contact with a behemoth. Something that had never happened outside the Uncharted Lands. And, despite how suspicious this scenario is, you came all the way here to see me. You're determined to find out about the behemoth. A great source of information and a comrade in search of knowledge. Only a fool would harm someone valuable such as yourself. <clears throat> Can I really trust him? I see that you're hesitating. An understandable attitude, no doubt, given the circumstances. I'll let you know that I value your knowledge above all else. My one and single goal is to uncover the mysteries of the behemoth. As long as we share the same goal, I'll say it's more beneficial for us both to work together. However, if you don't care enough to learn the truth, you're free to leave. <coughs> I have lost everything to that monster. For so long, I was confused. Why, it, why was it there? Why my village? I need answers to those questions. I need to know the truth. Then our alliance is formed. This could be long, so why don't you take a seat? Sure. Here's your tea. I made it myself. Not poisoned either. There's nothing weird in it, I promise. You're an ally, remember? Fox sips his cup of tea. Well, it better not be. Sips. It's actually pretty good. Glad to see you like it. Now, let's get back to our topic. The Behemoth. What do you know about them so far? To tell you the truth, I've just learned their name today. Excuse me? Hey, you of all people should know that information about them isn't easy to find. <coughs> that is true. Considering you've done a lot to come see me, I'll fill you in on some basic details. Now, what would you like to know? I guess we can do all of them. What are behemoths? What exactly are behemoths? They're violent, colossal creatures. Their strength, as you may have already knew, is enough to take on entire armies. You may not know this, since you've only seen one of them, but each behemoth is different in shape and form. As far as we know, their unique trait is the glowing pattern on their body. That's correct. They're called the Glowing Beast of Destruction, after all. The Glowing Beast of Destruction, huh? That's an accurate, ac accurate way to put it. He doesn't know that the behemoth that attacked Winchlight wasn't the one I'd seen before. The only one I'd seen before. I've seen the one Strombo transformed into as well. But this means you must also have seen one, more than one behemoth before. Possibly even more than two. Who the hell is this guy? <coughs> Shall we continue? How long have they been around? How long have these creatures been around? There's no way to know for certain, I'm afraid. Although, I wouldn't be surprised if they had been around longer than we have. But how come we've never heard of them? It's like they never even existed until now. It's as if someone doesn't want you to know about them, don't you think? Exclamation mark, question mark. But that is just a guess. Let us move on. Where they come from, my whole life, I'd never seen anything like them before. Oh, the fact that one showed up at your village is what makes this really interesting. After all, these creatures normally inhabit the uncharted, uncharted lands. Uncharted lands? You mentioned this before. 
the word is is a big place. The world is a big place, Soldier of Winterlight. There are places they weren't even thoroughly explored. Places deemed too dangerous for us to enter. And the reason it's too dangerous is none other than the behemoths themselves. But if that's true, then how could it appear in my village? It's a mystery, isn't it? The dangerous monster from the Uncharted Lands to think that it's always been in the same world as ours. But there's still so many things to understand. Now, what should be that should be enough to get you can to get you covered. It's my turn to ask you some questions. I'll try to answer them if I can. Let's start with something simple. How was Nuana after the attack? The village was destroyed. I think the blessing spell stopped working. Monsters in Nuana have become more aggressive. Many other villages had to tighten their security. Interesting. What about the behemoth? When I fled to the village nearby, I tried to warn people about it, since it's likely that it could follow us. Fortunately, the behemoth didn't come. I didn't see any monsters around there that looked like one either. <clears throat> Maybe it's taken Winterlight as its new home. Now, that's interesting, don't you think? What, the fact my hometown has become the behemoth slayer? The behemoth isn't exactly a small creature. If it made a move somewhere, would someone surely notice it? And yet, nobody's reported seeing anything like that in Nuana. Submission mark, question mark. Wait, what are you trying to say? Two possibilities, soldier of winter light. Either... It goes into hibernation, sleeping peacefully on winter night grounds. Or, it's not there anymore. But, but how could it be? How could a monster that big just disappear? And, how did it appear in the first place? Exclamation mark, question mark. That night, there's a loud explosion, and people screaming. But, nothing that sounded like something that huge walking toward our village. So it seemed to appear out of nowhere as well. What's the meaning of this? This is just as a guess, but for a creature from the Uncharted Lands to appear and disappear without a trace, <clears throat> there's a high possibility that a behemoth came through a portal of some sort. A portal? But a portal can't just appear by itself, can it? In most cases, yes. Teleportation magic is complicated, and a portal needs to be properly prepared beforehand. But if that's true, then that means someone's behind this? It's time to ask yourself this question, Soldier of Winterlight. Did you notice anything suspicious during the time before the attack? Anything suspicious? It could be a, a day, could be a week, it could even be a month before it happened. Who knows how long it'd take to open a portal for a creature that size. I... I... <clears throat> can't think of anything. Oh, well, that's a shame. But please, don't give up just yet. Maybe it works, in a strange way after all. This is all speculation anyway. Perhaps the behemoth is still there, sleeping peacefully in winter light. Well, I think that should be enough for today. As expected, you're a valuable source of information. It wasn't much, but I'm glad I could help. I'm still interested in learning more about your experience, so please, free, uh, feel free to come here and talk to me anytime. Wait, what? It is kind of weird, because I feel like, okay, two things. One, I'm pretty sure you fight the bear. I, I didn't fight him previously when I played this game, which kind of makes it weird that we're doing the whole, you know, relationship thing. But I guess, you know, it could be just a fair fight, you know, like, hey, we do this stuff. But then also be, um, I'm not going to spoil it, but it's like, it's kind of weird that we're going to bond, bond, form bond with L Lambert. You have actually shown yourself to be a rel to be reliable for I'm sure our alliance will benefit us both. And perhaps I might need your services again. I'll think about it. 
Now, if you excuse me, I have set up some new... I have to set up new traps. Apparently, someone got caught in one today. But they destroyed it and ran away. Wait, so that was yours? Don't tell me it was you. Well, I did destroy it, but only because someone got caught in it. Why would you do such a thing? And here I thought I'd get a hand on a new test subject. Uh, what now? Oh, it can be expensive to hire somebody to experiment with your potions. That's when I realized that if I can trap somebody, I can get a test subject for free. What? It's a waste. <coughs> Sorry, for some reason there's a whole bunch of shit in my throat. It is a waste if I just take them straight away to the peacekeepers. And if they're here to rob that place, then it's self-defense anyway. I don't think that's how it works. Uh, I'm not going to argue with you. Do you even have any idea how much it costs to fund my research? Wait, I have an idea. Now, that we're in an alliance, perhaps you could help. I have a bad feeling about this. Sojourn Winchlight? Hello? <coughs> Phew. I got out of there before things got weird. I should go back to the church and see if Strombo's back already. He might know information by now. Oh, right. That's the one that we did for this one. So it would be that one. So I haven't posted. I like doing these things early. Uh, that's the thing. I was kind of hoping to get to the C, because, you know, spoiler, we go to C. But, you know, I'm not sure how much longer that's in the future. I believe it's the next dungeon, or the next new dungeon. But, yeah. And going to the church is going to take more than... Uh, two minutes, two and a half minutes. So, unfortunately, that's gonna have to be the end of this Let's Play. So, anyways, please comment, cares, like, comment, some you like, dislike, tips, tricks, always. If you like my YouTube and like to grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out other videos to help it grow. And please remember to spay and neuter your animals to help control the pet population. Anything new? Soft leather. Five of them. <coughs> It'll be done here. Yeah, we can at least get the newer thing, I think. And until next time. Yeah, no, let's play. Oh, yeah, by me. Game 6 of Human Coliseum. Spain Eater Animals like Scrap and all that stuff. And also, if you want to play this game, it's on Patreon for $3. So, thanks and see you.